Greenfield community. I'm Superintendent Galvan getting ready to read you another really cool story during spring break. And we want you to take a moment to take a break. So this story is still part of Dr. Seuss week and this happens to be, I can read with my eyes shut. Oh my gosh, how can you do that? We're gonna find out. Hola comunidad de Greenfield, yo soy la Superintendent Galvan aquí de la comunidad de Greenfield y leyendo otro libro durante esta semana de descansa, uh, descanso. Y quiero que ustedes tomen un tiempo para no más sentar, disfrutar y oír una historia nuevecita de esta semana. Y todavía estamos celebrando Dr. Seuss y todos los libros que, de, de él. Y también aquí tenemos unos compañeros. Sí, aquí tenemos Madeline, Skippy John Jones y the, the Pete the Cat. And we also, boys and girls, today I have some friends here that I haven't even told you about this week. We have Skippy John Jones is here, Madeline's here, and Pete the Cat's back with his little friend, Pete the Cat himself. And so uh, maybe during this week, uh, next week, we'll start reading some of those stories to you so you can enjoy them. And please keep those comments coming because I love to go find books that you want me to read. So please do that and I will do my best. I can read with my eyes shut by Dr. Sips. How does he do that? Did he memorize the story? I don't know, but we will find out. I can read in red. I can read in blue. I can read in pickle color too. I can read in bed and in purple and in brown. I can read in a circle and upside down. Boy, is he clever. I can read with my left eye. Can you do that? Watch out. Yeah. I can read with my right eye. Can you do that? Yeah. You see? Good job. I can read Mississippi uh, with my eyes shut tight. Mm. Can you do that? Mm. Mississippi. That's a pretty big word for him. Mississippi. Indianapolis, and hallelujah too. I can read them with my eyes shut. That is very hard to do. But it's bad for my hat and makes my eyebrows get red hot. So reading with my eyes shut, mm, I didn't do an awful lot. And then, when I keep them open, I can read with much more speed. You have to be a speedy reader because there's so, so much to read. You can read about trees and bees and knees and knees on trees and bees on threes. Wow, there's a lot to read. You can read about anchors and all about ants, and you can read about ankles and crocodile pants. Wow, lots to read about. You can read about hoses and uh, how to smell roses and what you should do about owls on noses. What, an owl on a nose? Have you ever had an owl land on your nose? I haven't, not yet. Young cat, if you keep your eyes open enough, oh, the stuff you will learn, the most wonderful stuff. You'll learn about, look at that bucket of books, that's so cool. You'll learn about fish bones and wish bones. You'll learn about trombones too. You'll learn about Jake the pillow snake and all about foo foo the snoo. You can learn about ice, and you can learn about mice. You can learn about mice on ice, and ice on mice. You can learn about the price of ice. Nice ice for sale, 10 cents a pail. Hmm. And you can learn about sad, hmm, and glad, and mad. Mm. There are so many things you can learn about, but you'll miss the best thing if you keep your eyes shut. Oh no, we don't want to do that then. 
Let's see. The more that you read, the more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you'll go. You might learn a way to earn a few dollars. <clears throat> Excuse me, a few dollars. Or how to make donuts and kangaroo collars. You can read how-to books, huh? You can learn to read music and play a hot zut if you keep your eyes open, but not if they're shut. If you read with your eyes shut, you're likely to find that the places where you're going are far, far behind. Road close, Wabash nine miles, slow down, Nashville, Tokyo, restrooms 128 miles, that's far. Detour, left, right, no exit, no turn right, stop. Salina, Kansas, birthplace, XYZ, ABC, Dallas, Lake Forest, <gasps> so many words. So, that's why I tell you to keep your eyes wide, keep them wide open, at least on one side. Wow, boys and girls, that was a great book. So I can read with my eyes shut isn't probably the good thing to do because you want to read as many and as many as books as you can find. And right now, because you're at home, we know that you're not going to have a lot of books. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep reading to you every time at lunchtime so you can continue to get a really good uh, book read to you with me and maybe your teachers. So boys and girls, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Superintendent Galvan with the Greenfield Union School District sending you a great big bear hug from our family to yours. <laughs>